retouch your campsites retouch your campsites if you want to retouch your campsites with photoshop now available on your ipad you can select powerful tools such as spot healing brush and clone stamp to retouch and remove unwanted parts from your campsites by the way retouch with spot healing brush retouch with spot healing brush the spot healing tool paints with a sample part from your document and matches the texture and lighting and lighting and transparency and shading of the sample part to the part of the document being held and the spot healing brush doesn't require you to specify a sample the spot and automatically big samples from around the part of the document to be retouched by the way and to work with the spot healing brush do the following number one we have many following steps step number one tap the spot healing brush icon from the toolbar step number two from the tool options that open you can set the brush size and hardness and step number three tap this three 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 point icon to access more setting if you want to open any more setting press this this, this three three tab icon here and step number four in the spot healing brush setting panel that opens enable samples sample all layers to use all visible layers in your document as a source to apply healing on the selected layer and deselect sample all layers to sample only from the active layer and also you can enable and disable use brochure for size as required step number five tap the area in your document you want to retouch or tap and drag to smooth over imperfections in a larger area so look at this screenshot now spot healing brush setting so press press more icon so press more icon is three this is three point is meaning more if you want to more options so press press for this icon and spot healing brush setting then simple all layers if you would like to make a layer simple you have to choose this option and use all layers as source to heal on current layer and use pressure for size and you have to choose the use pressure for size from this button yes and retouch using clone stamp how to retouch using clone stamp the clone stamp by the way tool paints one part of your document over another part of the same document and you can also paint one part of a layer over another layer and the color stamp tool is useful for duplicating objects or removing a defect in your composite and to use the color stamp tool what do you do you set a sampling source on the area you want to clone from the paint over another area and by default your last sampling area is selected when you access the corner stamp and to work with the corner stamp tool do the following if you'd like to work with the corner stamp what do you do step number one we have many steps here now step number one double tap the spot healing brush icon from the toolbar to reveal the hide the hidden color stamp tool step number two tap this icon to select the color stamp tool step number three from the tool options that open you can change the brush radius, radius and, and hardness opacity and set source step number four from the more option from the more options to access more setting if you'd like to access more setting press for this three point yes step number five in the color stamp settings panel that opens you can select your sample and current current and blue and all layers you can also enable and disable and the use pressure for size and use brochure for opacity options and look at this screenshot again this picture now look at this picture now look at this picture you have to press for the more options then you open the corner stamp corner stamp setting the sample and current and use brochure for size and use brochure for obesity you have to choose use brochure for obesity and use brochure for obesity for obesity if 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 you like that yes that's fine and work with touch shortcuts 
work with touch shortcuts to set source and tap over an area you want to select as the colonic source. And you have to use the primary touch shortcut to set the source from where you wish to clone. And number seven, release. Point number seven, release the touch shortcut after setting the source and tap over an area on which you want to apply clone stamp. Clone stamp. And this action paints the source area over your selected area by the way. So look at this picture again. You have to use here now this picture, you have to use the secondary touch shortcut to apply clone stamp on the destination area in your document. <laughs>